Hello fellow music producers. Today I am going to show you how to mix kick and bass or at least how I do it for now. <laughs> I am a beginner and this is how I do it for now. So let's listen to what I got. Just a basic drum and bass pattern for you. And the only thing I got right now is a limiter to raise the volume up. So as you can see, we got a standard drum pattern. And in that drum pattern, we need to get the bass to cut through. So in the beginning, in the first four bars, we got a standard pattern. We could do that by just using some sidechain compression. This won't work in the last four bars where we have a different kick drum pattern. So let's turn on the compressor. Like I said, it's just a sidechain compression. To set that up in Reaper, all you have to do is Take your kick, pull it onto the compressor, and set your auxiliary inputs. That's all. But as you will hear, for now it cuts away the bass nice and clean. And now we got that double pumping every time the kick drum hits two times. We don't want that. So let's turn off the compressor. Instead, I put dynamic EQ on there. That will duck the bass away every time the kick hits to get the kick to cut through. I will do a separate video on how to set up dynamic EQ in Reaper. this part I am using the dynamic EQ. What I also like to do while mixing kick and bass is Let's turn the snare on so that it will sound a bit better. I put a multi-band compressor on the kick and the bass. Just one active band. That will be around 150 Hz. With a ratio of 2 to 1 on the kick. With about 10 dB of compression. And just, in this case, I Put the gain up a little bit. Same thing on the bass. There we have a 4 dB compression and a ratio of about 4 to 5. And the gain is a bit down because if I pull it up the bass will clip. So that's why the gain is a bit down here. And this would be how it should sound in a complete mix. This is how the final result will sound. Now let's compare it to the compressor where we have that pumping of the bass. That would be done with another plugin right now, but I don't use that plugin in this tutorial so to say. And one other thing I like to do to check if uh, the kick and bass or if they are sounding good I have an EQ on the master at around 100 Hz with a high cut and if I turn that on you'll hear it just like you're outside of the club where you can just hear the bass and the kick pumping. Like outside of a thick wall. So that's it for today, I hope you had fun, enjoyed the video and see you next time.